Hello everyone. Uh, we are looking at mechanical and electrical analogies. Uh, forgive me if my pronunciation is not good. Um, so we want to look at mechanical systems and um, from the way that they are connected to each other and the way that their force and their strengths are reflecting on each other, um, we uh, we plot the diagram uh, of equivalent uh, electrical circuit. So I'm looking at example that is shown in book figure 2.21, page 53. So I'm looking at this example here. So I have a spring and dashboard connected to a mass. So that is a surface or ceiling, and then I have my dashboard and uh, in one arm, and then I have my spring connected to my left arm. The constant for the spring is K, and the constant for the dashboard is C, and then I have my mass. Connected to both those arms, and then I have force F. So, what do we know from uh, looking at this system? So, um, this mechanical system involves a spring, dashboard, and mass. And we know that the net force for this system is going to be equal to. Um, the movement is going to be um, toward the F direction. So we are going to have the F positive and uh, the pulling back force from the dashboard and the spring will be opposite sides, so they are going to be negative. So we have the force exerted by spring. And the next one from the dashboard will be also negative because it's going to be a pullback or stopping uh, the movement toward the F force. So it's going to be, to be negative. So the force exerted, exerted by dashboard. Uh, if I uh, replace them, I keep the F positive, so these guys go the other side, they become also positive. So I will have F is equal to the net force plus, I'm going to call it a spring force, the force exerted by spring, plus dashboard force. Now, this looks like, to me, three things are added together to make a um, main thing. So, um, when, when we are looking at um, electrical circuit, uh, that can be assumed to be uh, three currents coming and adding together and making a big current. So, we are looking at the junction. We are looking at uh, parallel branches or arms, very similar to what we see here. Um, so, um, I'm going to make this um, junction. So I'm going to have three branch, and then I have my power supply here. And when it comes to uh, mechanical electrical analogies, you know that we are looking at current most of the time. So we are going to have a current that is uh, flowing through the circuit, and then it's divided to three branches, and they they add again. Um, so this will be some part of that. This will be some part of that, and this will be some part of that. They add up together again and then they go back to the power supply.
this will be the electrical circuit we are looking at. Now, um, the equivalent of uh, mass. What do we know about mass? The equivalent of mass would be what component? Just take a minute to think about it. This spring is very easy to remember. So this spring is very similar to inductor. So I'm going to draw inductor here. And our inductor is going to be L, which is equal to 1 over K. Now, um, about the dashboard and mass, what else we can write? So, mass is uh, very similar to a resistor. I'm going to draw a resistor here. And the resistance of that is going to be 1. Sorry, the mass is similar to dashboard. Uh, the reason is because we said that resistor uh, does not store any energy, only dissipates the power. The same thing happens for the dashboard, does not store the energy and dissipates it as a power. Now, the capacitor, that's why we have R is equal to 1 divided by C. So the capacitor is going to represent our mass and it's a straightforward relationship, isn't it? So this would be the equivalent of um, what we have in mechanical system. And if we want to write the relationship of the current that is being distributed among these three components, so if I'm calling this I, my I is equal to I of my N plus I of my C and I of my R. So I is the current current through capacitor plus current through resistor plus current through inductor. And that will complete uh, the answer for this question. Now let's look at the other example. Example 6, so it is page 54, page 54, example um, 6, so the picture would be this one here. So we have two dashboards, one spring and the mass. We have spring A connected to dashboard number one, and then on the other branch or other R, we have dashboard number two. And both arms are connected to our mass, and then we have the force. So um, the same thing um, applies here. And um, for simplifying, um, simplifying the the program, the simplifying the diagram, we are looking at each arm separately. So the force that is kind of pulling the mass back up is divided to two arms, arm left arm and uh, right arm, or arm number one and arm number two. So I can say that the net force is equal to F is positive minus, um, that is equal, force 
y r1 minus force y r2. I keep the f um, positive sign and I push them the other side so it becomes f is equal to the net force plus I'm going to call it force 1 plus force 2 so everything is positive again this looks like a junction and distribution of current so I'm going to have my supply connected to three branches and this current I is going to be distributed among them because I have three uh, pieces here that's why we have three branches don't be confused with the fact that we have two arms here why do we have three of them here this is related to the you know number of forces that are acting on our F that's the main reason now uh, let's look at our forces how they are um, affecting so we have one force that is coming from arm one and they are in series with each other so we uh, looked at this in previous examples uh, which i explained in the class when we have two mechanical systems that are uh, adding the force together that uh, is very similar to the fact that we have a current flowing through two electrical components so in this case we are looking at resistor and uh, inductor so one of the, these branches doesn't matter which one is going to um, have uh, our inductance L is equal to 1 over K and it's going to have the representation or equivalent of the dashboard and we already saw that the equivalent of the dashboard is our resistor so I'm going to have my resistor here in series with my inductor the reason is because that force is kind of combined together it's uh, flowing through them and here also the current is flowing through them so I'm going to have R is equal to 1C but because I have two dashboards I'm going to call it R1 and C1 um, now it is particularly important for labeling because uh, this guy here is going to uh, have stronger force because it's on its own now if I'm looking at the mass itself so that is acting like a capacitor equivalent will be capacitor so this C will be equal to M and then another branch will be for another um, another dashboard that I have here and that is going to be act like my second resistor which is equal to 1 over C2 and that will be the equivalent now let's write the current relationship between these components so the current is coming here and then I'm going to call this uh, I1 I2 I3 so my I is going to be I1 plus I2 plus I3 and you know that I1 is the current that is um, going through the inductor and the resistor so it's uh, exactly related to the force that's coming from that arm so description of I1 would be the current the um, 
and Dr. Sims read our one. I2 is going to be the current through capacitor. And then I3 is the current through R2. And that will complete the equivalent of that mechanical system. So in quiz, you're going to have a mechanical system and uh, then you should identify the equivalent circuit or vice versa. Okay, thank you.